know what you guys are thinking. Otto, what are you doing in the kitchen right now? Why are you even dressed like this? Well, from the setup, from everything that you guys see all around, today I'm gonna be preparing you guys a little dessert. Now the internet is awesome because people like Epic Meal Time and others have already created ingredients for us to make. So from me watching cooking videos all these years on the internet, I was able to figure out how to make this. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try to make this so that, you know, I can know if I can do stuff like this. I'm speaking a lot. Let's just get this started. Obviously to make this stuff, you need the ingredients and the tools. To start things off, you need two bowls. You need a rolling pin, obviously, because we're making a pizza. You need the pan as well, the pizza pan. Put the pizza on later on, put it in the oven. I'll have everything in the description and probably on your screen as well. So let's not waste any time and let's get to the ingredients. I don't know, to be honest. It, I don't know how it became like this, but what you first want to do is you're going to take two and a half cups of flour and you're going to mix it with a cup of graham crackers. That's part of the ingredients. Did you, did you read the ingredients? Now, I wasn't able to find your traditional crackers, so I just got honey graham. Honey graham. What's wrong with honey graham? Nothing's wrong with honey graham. By the way, you do have to grind the crackers and turn it into this. So it's a cup of graham crackers. You just have to smash it with anything. You can do it with your hands as well. And to be honest, I have this little grinder, so it was a workout doing it. You just have to make sure you have a cup of graham crackers and you mix that with the two and a half cups of flour. So right there, what, what is it? Okay, so right there, we mix that up. Next up, what we're gonna have to add is the coarse salt, both the kinds of salt. You need some coarse salt and a regular salt, and obviously the sugar in there as well. And let's not forget, you need the cream, the heavy cream, heavy cooking cream. Add that in there, and you're gonna have to start mixing it up with your hands. So what you just mix together, put that aside, grab your new bowl. Remember I said you need two bowls. Grab that, and inside here, you're gonna take a packet of yeast. And I think what yeast does is, it helps, basically it helps the dough kind of like grow like a pizza. You guys get what I'm saying, right? I'm kind of foreign, so I'm very bad at describing this stuff. So put one packet of yeast in there, add the cooking oil, and then you're gonna add the, the warm water that I said in the ingredients. So I add in the water in there as well, and we're gonna kind of wait like a few minutes, let that, you know, let them bond together, let them communicate. Cause right now you have no idea what's going on. Now that we let everything chill out for a bit, we're gonna take the dough that we made and we're gonna mix it with the yeast and the warm water that we had. So there you have it, everything is in there now. All we need to do is keep on mixing. This is your dough, this is like the main part of your meal. This is important. You wanna enjoy s'mores whoever you're gonna enjoy it with. So I mix all the ingredients together basically for like two to three minutes. And now what you have to do is you're gonna have to seal it. And after sealing it, you gotta let, let it sit there for like an hour, an hour, 10 minutes. And then we're gonna have to come back and continue it. But don't worry, I'm not gonna let the cameras run for an hour and a half, obviously. I'll cut it off and keep things short for you guys. Obviously the next step is to seal this thing for an hour and a half about, somewhere around that time. And we'll continue right after that. After letting the dough rest for about an hour and, I waited like an hour and a half. You're gonna take it and put it on the pizza pan. This is where things get fun. So you're gonna take it and obviously turn it into a pizza. Just roll it around, hold on. This is not the best idea. I didn't really need a pizza roller. I don't know why I got that. I'm just using my hand. You kinda wanna bring a little bit of the dough to the outside because that's where we're gonna make the crust. So you wanna kinda push it out a bit so you have room on the outside to make the crust. The next step, you wanna take a fork and you wanna basically poke around it. Poke around the entire thing. Next, what you wanna do is you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you're gonna have to wait like five to 10 minutes until it is ready to go before you put your dough in the oven. Once the oven's ready to go, put the dough in for about like 10 to 15 minutes and we will continue from there. All right, so finally, I think this is ready to go, man. Like mine took 26 minutes. I was thinking it was gonna be like 10, but I think I just used a lot of dough. Oh God, here we go. Woo! Wait, wait. Did I just bend this oven? Looks like I'm gonna have to invite the entire neighborhood to eat this thing. So you guys see, it looks great. I will eat the dough by itself, but 
This is gonna be my favorite part. Two more steps. And in this step, we're gonna use one of God's greatest creations, Nutella. So you're gonna take your Nutella, and there's no, you know, limit on how much you wanna put on it. So we're gonna take a pound of it and just lay it across. Lay it across. Just take it and just do that. Make sure you don't get it on the crust, just the surface inside of the crust. Next, you wanna take your bag of pillows. Some people like to call it as marshmallows. And you wanna just take it and one by one, lay it. And just keep on laying it. It's like a line of Chipotle. Now that we're done with that step, we're on to the final. This is it. Finally, it's done. We get to enjoy it after doing this next step, though. You're going to take your pizza or your Nutella or your whatever you want to call it. And you're going to put it back in the oven, 350 Fahrenheit. And 15, 10 minutes, just keep your eye on it. I'm not sure how long. Probably around that time, 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep checking every five minutes. And you just want to make sure, you know, it just looks good. And then that's how you know to take it out. Like you just gotta see the marshmallow turning brown. I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying. We'll check back in in 10 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. I think it's time. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. No, be for real. No, nah. that's really good. I'm not gonna lie. The texture is just um, amazing. You know, you the, uh, too much food truck. the uh, um, the the, the, the quality of the uh, the food and the chemistry is just. Be for real, man. I'm being real good. How's it taste? It's like a chocolate cloud in my mouth. Ooh. We just tasted this thing and not only does it sound good, it also tastes incredible. My boys also gave it a try. And look at how much we have left. So the next few days, talk about calories, but there you have it for this video. Next time I'm thinking about trying my own ingredients. I have a lot of things in mind. Plus my mom makes a lot of Armenian dishes. So you never know what I'll do next time out, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you've never done this, try it out. It's delicious.